what's going on my dear people and welcome back to some dragon ball spark and zero content now today i got some mid goku not so mid gameplay for you guys but before we get into all that we gotta talk about how half of y'all not subscribed so if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that button for me and support your boy for going all the way to phoenix arizona to get this good gameplay for y'all and besides i really don't want y'all to miss the gameplay that i'm gonna cook in the future when this game finally released so go ahead and hit that subscribe button but back to the gameplay y'all we're using goku mid and i'm gonna use goku mid against everybody so we got another 1v3 in this video and I'm just gonna be honest, you guys, Goku Mid was my favorite character to use in the Anime Impulse demo. He's just the most fun to use, and that's just my opinion. It's probably because of my frequent use of this character that I never got the chance to try other characters at the demo. Characters like Frieza, Broly, and Bergamo. And I do regret that, but it's okay, the game comes out soon. So until then, we're just gonna enjoy this gameplay. And sorry guys, I ended up skipping this intro, but we are gonna wait for that beat to drop first. Oh yeah. Starting out with the jumping key blast, and y'all that still is in the game, so you definitely can do that. You just have to do it real fast. I added a short dash along with it, and it ended up looking real cool. I'll throw Yamcha here, hit him to the ground, throw him again, and unfortunately the obstacle got in my way. And I did an after image there, and he actually commented on that when I did it. Like, oh my gosh, he did an after image. And I thought that was real, real cool, y'all. The uh, characters actually talk to you and comment on the things that you do inside the game. And I thought that was real cool. Now, I'm not sure how I did that after image strike, but if anybody can point it out for me in the comments, you're welcome to do so. And Yamcha got bodied, no beams, just hands. Trying to get used to these combos and what works inside Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. And I want to go back to those 100% combos I was talking about in the last video. Y'all, I kind of really want to see the inside of this game. Because I think this game can support it. I know the health bars kind of go by really, really fast once you're using all these, um, these power techniques and stuff. But I really feel like if we just add rounds to every game, where you just like maybe just have maybe add two rounds to every game online, then it works out. Because at that point, you just got to watch out and make sure you don't get stuck in no long combo. Which is not that hard to do in Spark and Zero because you got Z counter, you have revenge counter, and all different type of assets in this game that can keep you from being stuck in a long combo. So if you don't have the resources and the opponent that you're fighting has the skill, there's nothing wrong with somebody being able to pull off a 100% combo. Now, I know it's never been in Tenkaichi, but it can be in this one. So I'm really hoping that Spark and Zero will add um, two rounds to every online fight because you do lose health pretty fast in this game. But for the question of this day, you guys, do you think GT will be in the base roster or will it be inside the, uh, will it be DLC? Unfortunately, I'm thinking DLC because there's a lot of characters that haven't been announced yet for Dragon Ball. So yeah, there's that. But tell me what you guys think. And check this combo out, you guys. I think it's important. It's weird because I was able to follow up with this Dragon Dash with another Dragon Dash right here. And that's crazy. Two Dragon Dash infinites in one combo is actually pretty crazy. I guess I was able to connect it because that lift strike that I did was a hard knockdown. And key eye cannons and the blaster cannons that you use during the combo, those are hard knockdowns too. So you can follow up with a dragon dash after that. And I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to be testing that a lot when I get my hands on the game, just to see how far I can go with that. And here I was waiting for Vegeta to do a beam so I can clash with him at the end because I thought the fight was so cool. It deserved the beam clash to finish it off. But Vegeta was not going for it. And if you see me running around like this, just waiting for something to happen, then that's just me waiting for a beam so I can clash. Or I'm waiting for a beam to deflect as well. I just think that those are the two coolest things to look at in a fight, especially beam deflects. But we got some Sonic Sway here. And I don't know why, oh, I know why. He didn't move at that moment when I hit him because we were already at the top of the map. 
and I guess that's where he was gonna go once I hit him. Still waiting for that beam clash, but he's not going for it. And at this point, I was just like, screw it, let's just do the anchor coming out me out. Or maybe I got scared that that actually was a beam clash and instantly pressed the button <laughs> by mistake. But I love this shot at the end of the fight where Goku's looking all disappointed in his opponent. <laughs> but that, that's it for the video, you guys. See y'all next time.